everyone, it's Mandy. I'm here with you today to show you how to ink on some coffee mugs. So welcome to the replay and hope you enjoy the session. It's a new one for us on the Gwen's Foxy Nest. We haven't done this one before, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about the chalk and um, ink and how they're different. So if you remember, uh, I did this plate with paste, with the chalk paste. And basically, once I wash it, it will come off. So, and I intended it for that. I just wanted it to be for decorative purposes uh, for this for this holiday season, and I want to do something new next season. But what we're going to do today is we're actually going to use our our chalkology ink, and we're going to make uh, some farmhouse mugs that are actually permanent. So, anything that you want to make permanent that you can wash in the dishwasher or with your laundry, you want to use the ink and then you'll have to heat set it. So, I'll talk a little bit more on how you heat set it uh, after I do my demonstration. So, let's get started. I'm gonna, I picked up some mini transfers. This is our farmhouse transfers. And you can see there's 12 different designs here. And that's one pack. So, if you order from my shop, you would get all 12 of these. But I also have a mini mini bundle that you can buy uh, for ten dollars, and you would just randomly get one of these along with the single uh, deal of chalk paste, which is removable, and then a mini squeegee and a stir stick for ten dollars. And that's up in the announcements that you can order directly from me. But through my shop, you can get all the whole packet along with the ink. And so I'm gonna move the, the camera down down here so we can start talking about how you do the inking on the mugs. So these mugs I just picked up at Walmart. Um, they're dishwasher or microwave uh, safe. So I know that I'm going to be able to put them in the oven. So anything that you use ink on that you want to be permanent as far as like ceramics, you're going to have to be able to put it in the oven. Now if I wanted to ink on my apron or my shirt, I, all I have to do is uh, do an iron setting for that. So today we're just going to talk about um, how you set these. So I went ahead and I picked up picked out two of the designs that I want. One is uh, Farm Sweets Farm and the other one is Farm. And I'm really just making a last minute Christmas gift. How many of you guys are press, uh, uh, making last minute Christmas runs and trying to get all your Christmas gifts even for everybody? and making sure everybody has a present. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. Uh, I don't think I've introduced myself yet. I'm Mandy Ross with Gwen's Foxy Nest, and I'm a Chalk Couture independent designer. And I welcome you uh, to today's session. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna put the camera down and actually let me get my, uh, synced up with my um, phone here, just in case there's any comments or anything I need to answer. Okay, so let's go down here. And inking, guys, is the same way with um, as you would do your paste. Um, it's you would use the same transfers. You can use your ink or your chalk paste on your transfers. Our transfers are um, you know reusable eight to twelve times. They're sticky on the back, so you can pretty much place it wherever you need to. Um, you do want to fuzz them. If you're going to put it like on glass or the ceramic, just to make sure they don't stick. Uh, and if you don't, some of them are really sticky. And if you uh, put it on there and try to take it off, it gets um, it could actually stretch your uh, transfer, which would ruin it. So just make sure you put a little fuzz on there, so it's just easier to um, take off. And now I'm making sure that. I'm laying it down where all the air bubbles are out of my design. I'm going to have some air bubbles in the, the blue part, and that's fine. I just want to make sure my design is actually um, air bubble free. Um, you can see that I'm able to actually bend this transfer and mold it uh, on, my, on my mug here. Um, the other thing you want to do is make sure that uh, you're down far enough that your lips don't touch the ink part because this is not FDA food safe approved. So just again, just if you just get it down far enough that your lips aren't going to touch it, you'll be fine. Okay, so I've got all the air bubbles out. I'm going to design. You can see that I still have some creases there. That's fine. That's not part of my design. 
so I don't have to worry about it there. And now let's open up the ink and give it a good stir. And the ink is permanent, so uh, once I put it on there, if I do make a mistake, I can still wipe it off. It's still um, an, an, it's still forgiving as far as an art scribe project. So if you make a mistake on, especially on ceramics, you can just wipe it off. Once it once you heat set it, that's when it becomes permanent, and that's when you can wash it and do whatever you want to with it. So I'm just going to stir this up, and this is our black velvet, and it's going to make a perfect color for our um, our farmhouse look here. How many of you guys are actually into farmhouse? Um, it's a big trend. It's been a big trend for a long time now, and I don't know if it's ever going to go away anytime soon. Okay, so again, you're just going to take your ink and you're just going to dab it, blop it around on your transfer. You're not going to need a whole, whole bunch. Um, it takes very little of the, the ink uh, to actually make your project. Now we're just going to take our um, squeegee and we just want to make sure that we get it in the design part. So we don't really care about all this out here. We just want to make sure it's in the design. And some more right there. Perfect. So these are like boutique quality mugs that you're making at home for someone special and or that I'm actually making. But you can as well, and you're going to see that it's really fast and simple. Let's take this, and I'm just going to remove the excess off and put it back in my jar. So this is a three ounce uh, tube uh, tub of uh, ink, and it will last you forever. Okay, so now let's do the reveal. And when you take your transfers off, you want to take it from top to bottom or left to right, and that again will help just save your transfer from stretching. There we go. I'm just going to take this and put my my tub of water. And I did have a little bit of a bleeding right there, so I'm going to try to get that off with just a paper towel. Actually, I got some right there. And actually, I'm going to use a Q-tip to get this off where I don't want it. Okay. And just clean up that that little mess right there and right here. Okay. Right there. Kind of perfecting it right here. There we go. I just dipped in, dipped in my Q-tip in some water and got it wet. And getting that clean, crisp design that I want. And this is the first time I've used the ink, so it only kind of messed up there at the top, so I must have not had my transfer down completely. Because normally all my all my designs have come out pretty crisp. Okay. Okay. I think that's gonna work. Now let's do the let's do the next one. Let's see. Isn't that cute. Okay. Now I have this one. I'm gonna set down. And I'm going to use the Farm Sweet Farm. Hello, thanks for joining. And I'm going to put this one right here. Again, I'm just going to make sure that the bubbles are out of the design part. And I like that our transfers are bendable and flexible, so you can put it on surfaces that are not exactly flat. This one's round, of course, rounded. So 
Let's see how we do on this one. I have a bubble up here. So just keep playing with it till you get all the bubbles out. And you get you get your transfer on there. Okay. And you can play with it to see how it's gonna, you know, set right or not. Okay. Again, we're gonna put our ink on here. And this will be permanent once I heat set it, and I'll tell you how to heat set it in just a little bit. I'm just blopping some ink on it, and then I'm going to take my squee squeegee, and I'm going to spread it around just on the design part. And how many of you guys are ready for Christmas? I, I'm ready for Christmas. I had the best Christmas present. My my girl, she graduated University of Arkansas. So I'm pretty much set on my Christmas present. Okay. Taking that off. Just going to take the rest of the excess off and put it back in my jar. And that's what your squeegee does is help you kind of get just the right amount of paste on there. Now let's see how I did on this one. I'm wiping off the ink so I don't get on, on the mug from my hand. So hold on. Okay. And you're going to take it off from left to right or top to bottom. So let's see how that works. Aw. There you go. So that's our two mugs, and let me show you how to actually clean up the, the transfers, and then I'll talk about how to heat set them. So here's our two mugs, Farm Sweet Farm and Farm. Okay, that's cute. Um, so when you do your transfers, they are reusable at 10 to 12 times. So you just put them in a tub of water or you just take them to your sink. And uh, same way with the chalk, you clean them the same way you would the chalk. You just take your paper towel or Lysol disinfectant wipe and just um, clean off the front and the back. Get these. And if you made a mistake on with the ink, you can still clean it off, especially on the, the ceramics. They only, once they are heat set is when you're, they're permanent. Okay. So you can see like that is kind of still some ink there. That's fine. It's staying the, the transfer, but it's not on the design itself. So that's fine. So you'll turn it upside down with the sticky side up and let it dry for both of them. Let me do this. And we, the mini transfers, we actually have the farmhouse, we have a Valentine's, and we have a Christmas theme uh, for the, the mini transfers right now. And we change out designs every three months. We have in-house designers that are constantly working on new designs for us. So we're always having new designs. So that one came out pretty clean. It's stained a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just going to um, turn it upside down with the sticky side up and let it dry. And then once it's dry, I'll put it back on its backer with the shiny side up. So just remember, we, we're in this group, we're always shiny. So that's what the, the sticky side goes on the shiny side. Okay, so let's talk about how to heat set these. I got some water on my computer. Hold on. Okay. Hi, Sean. Um, so to heat set this, you're actually going to put it in the oven. Okay, so you're going to put it in the oven on the racks uh, with the design up. And then you're going to put it in the while the oven's still cold. So put your, put your mugs in the oven while the oven's cold. Then turn it on to 350 degrees and let the, ovens, let the mugs just sit in there for 30 minutes, 30 to 60 minutes. Um, and then turn off your oven and let the mugs cool down in the oven. And once the mugs are cooled down, 
then you can take them out of the oven, okay? So actually, I'm actually gonna let these dry for about 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour outside the oven, and then I'll do the heat set. So since these actually say they're dishwasher safe, once you get them out of the oven, um, you can wash some of the dishwasher and your design will stay on. So that's the great part about using ink uh, with your with your, your chalk couture transfers. So if you have questions, let me know. I am um, I have a mini bundle uh, up in my announcements where uh, you'll get one of these transfers with some chalk paste, and our chalk paste is is removable, and then um, and then a squeegee and a, a stir stick. But if you want the whole pack and you want the ink, just go type in shop, and I'll I'll get you my uh, website address. You can go shop. Um, if you want to do what I'm doing as a designer, just type in join. Um, if you want to become our Club Contour members, where you pay twenty dollars a month and you get a monthly subscription, um, you know you automatically get some a transfer sent to you every month. Just type in a club, and I'll get you that that link as well. So. Guys, Merry Christmas. I hope that you have a wonderful uh, holidays, and uh, thank you for joining me, and have a, a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Bye.